My name is Jürgen Klaus. I'm the founder of Alpine Lab and I'm a lover of Alpine A110 cars. The car I have found in, uh, in Hungary, in Budapest, by accident. More or less the car found me than, than I found the car. Yeah, I was happy to purchase this wreck in, in Budapest and brought it to Germany. And I started a huge restoration on it. So all my cars I have restored more or less on my own. I have some specialists for gearbox or for paint jobs, but all the other work I have done on my, by myself. The restoration on an Alpine A110 is really a challenge, uh, especially the bodywork. If you're not familiar, familiar with fiberglass work, it really can become a nightmare. And this one was quite a nightmare because the car was much worse than I have expected in condition um, of bodywork. A lot of sections were cracked or were damaged or badly restored. So I have to replace a few sections on the car with new sections. This is how I learned to work with fiberglass. I was very lucky to have a guy in my small village who was working on, with fiberglass for more than 40 years. And I learned from him all the tricks to do it. And yeah, I've done it all alone on this car. There are some similarities of both cars, but there is a gap of more than 50 years and the appearance quite Similar to colors and the stickers maybe, but um, in detail, the technical details are nothing to compare with, I think. The only thing they have in common, they have a four-cylinder engine, but the new one have a turbocharged engine. This is a natural aspirated engine. Then the main thing, I, I believe they have the same DNA. This is the most important thing for me. The focus on both cars was lightweight to build a light weld and agile, agile car. And I think this um, brings them much driving pleasure for, for both of the cars. I was quite curious what, what I can expect from the new livery or for the new, the new edition. And as the car was unveiled to me in Paris two weeks ago, I was quite amazed how the car looks. The Bleu Caddy was quite similar to my car and it looks like magic to me. I think the interpretation of the new car um, shows really the reminiscence to the old car. There's barely visible small details and the color scheme and everything. Everybody will build the bridge from the new to the old very easily. I'm going to show you now a few special items on my car, which are not common. For example, the seat belts are very, very special items, a French production coming from an airplane. Another interesting item on this car is the steering wheel. It's um, manufactured by an Italian company called Momo. It's a very special version. It's, uh, a uh, steering wheel without drillings, it's completely flat, the spokes are not banded. So as far as I know, the steering wheel is um, a special manufacturing for Alpine works cars because I've never seen them on other cars or other brands. Let's have a look at the dashboard. This is a, mix, a mixture of almost everything, different manufacturers. For example, this signal light is for oil pressure. Um, the, um, the very beautiful um, Hoyer Rally Timers, um, a Swedish Tripmaster, a lamp for reading the maps for the co pilot. That's very special items, only a uh, works car. We have also a very special combination here on the instruments. We have um, the speedometer coming from an Italian company, Veglia. We have the three small instruments for oil pressure and oil temperature and voltage coming also from an Italian company, Jaeger. And we have the ref counter, a very special one. It's a mechanic driven ref counter coming from UK from the company Smith. It's a very unique combination. So another difference between the serial cars and the competition versions are the fuel tank. The com uh, competition cars have the fuel tank behind the seats. They have a petrol tank flap here behind the a passenger door. And the most beautiful item on the whole car maybe is this filler cap. It's a very special one coming from the French helicopter Alouette. 